Yes. All right, all right. Look at this. L-D-W-M-M-A-C. This is your boy, Coach Shelton Harrison. And you're live, live, live on the Coach Shelton Harrison Combat Sports Show Live. And, guys, mm -hmm. I got Denise, Miss Dynamite Kills here live on the coach show the coach show live how you doing this how you doing this after this evening right uh yes it's evening here yeah <laughs> okay well denise you just came off um a very impressive win off of uh Bernie terrell so yes what's the last i don't know yeah man that fight was maybe about a week or so ago so what what was what was your emotions after that fight um, I had so many emotions because um, also the fight before against Feta, you know, that really um, yeah wakes me up in a, in a way that I thought, okay, um, I have to do this whole MMA game different. So uh, now for this fight, I choose uh, one gym uh, under uh, with my wrestle coach and MMA coach, uh, Bob Schreiber. And uh, yeah, my team was a little bit different. So um, yeah, I was nervous because yeah, you never know in MMA what can happen. And also the, the fight against Feta was really like an, um, uh, also in my mind, I have to train a lot to get over it. So that fight was really special. And yeah, and I thought the fight also has a lesson because um, yeah, I want to show everyone that I'm also, I can also do something on the ground. So there were so many things I want to show in this fight and I hope I did. And the win is always, uh, always good. So. Yeah. You, you know, we got to see, you know, we got to see some of your judo on display. When, when we fought Bernie, we got to see some of your, uh, your judo, definitely your judo and, and a takedown, you know? Yeah. I, I mean, so what um how did you guys have time to prepare for Bernie? because i think you know she, she was a replacement op opponent right uh no there were um at, at the first moment when i thought i was uh, fighting i was fighting in uh, in uh, london i thought okay that will be that i that i will fight k jackson but um then it took really long when i heard my opponent and then i saw k jackson fight lena so i thought okay but it takes a little bit, it, it takes a while before my opponent was there, but I think that they were looking for so many things and at, at the end they thought they, um, and they find an opponent, thank God. <laughs> yeah, they found an opponent and, and Bernie, you know, hey, she, uh, cause she, um, cause I think at one point she said she was going to stop fighting and then this fight just seemed to like, oh man, if I can get a win yeah. over Denise Killholz, man. So, yeah. you know, she took a chance and, you know, she lost, but, yeah. you know, man, <laughs> man. Yeah, I got, so, I got respect for her because also um, last year, um, I, uh, that what I, what, what, where I was to fight uh, Lena and she pulled out just one week before. And um, then I heard that uh, Bryony also really wants to fight me in, in just one week notice. So I know that, that, this girl was going to be tough, you know, and that she, her mind is strong because she was the only one that say yes one week before, but uh, the doctors didn't allow her to fight me at that moment. So, um, yeah, I knew that she was tough and that she come here to fight. And I think that she, uh, yeah, that she really fight me. <laughs> so, so, and yeah, uh, we will see what she will do. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, I, you know, I, I, I would see if a lot of people wouldn't want to fight you though, because you, you're definitely, you know, you, you're the Bellator kickboxing champion. You know, you got dangerous striking. And now, after this last fight, boy, <laughs> the judo and the jiu-jitsu was on full display. Man, <laughs> hey, you had a lot of people, like, as of recently, to turn down a fight with you after this performance. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that that's what that's what I wanna wanna show the world, you know, because um uh yeah I the most of the people know knew me as a as a kickboxer. So they think, oh yes, I'm gonna fight her in MMA because I wanna take her down and then you know it would be over. But they yeah, that's what I wanna show with this fight. So even if you want to take me down, I'm not scared now on the ground to fight also my opponents on the ground. So it was my main goal also in this fight to show everyone like I'm the kickboxer, but I also can do something now on the ground. <laughs> you a black belt in judo, correct? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yes. What belt are you in uh, BJJ? 
nothing. No, I um, if I have to be honest, uh, I did judo till I was like uh, 18 years old, and after that, I just stopped. I never did judo again. And now, with my MMA career, now everything still comes up. But before that, I was already stopped with judo for I think 10 years. So, yeah, that but I see that you see, you can also see, and I feel also that I still have the feeling from judo, you know, that's something that you never. Uh, forget about so yeah that's also some some uh, that i see as a as a positive thing that i ever learned uh, that i ever did you know <laughs> yeah i mean judo is tough i mean it, it, it's a tough sport because you know you you have to you have to rely on really you know getting people you know taking them and flipping them over and, and i think it's more more, more or less like an ostagari is that, 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 that that's what happens in judo a lot because i'm not really yeah. okay yeah, it's a yeah. It's like all the, it's it's different because in the beginning I was really used to that I cannot you know uh, yeah uh, hold someone you know it's all like you don't have a suit on, but yeah if, if the feeling is still there in your hips you know you can feel some kind of things and I think that's also uh, yeah that's something uh, that's something that really uh, learned me a lot. Yeah, well you know. Your, your fight, okay. I don't want to talk about this. The fight you had uh, with with, with um, Vitor Um Yeah. You know, like, how did you feel like knowing that? Hey, you know what? This was a this was a really close competitive fight, and if I beat Vader, if I beat her, I'd be in a title shot. Like, how, how, how did you like? Did did you know that? Hey, if I beat Vader, I'd probably be fighting for the title. Yeah. Yes. Yes. But before the fight, uh, they say one. Uh, one one uh, flyweight fight uh, for me and um, also um, and also my uh, no sorry but <laughs> sorry Esty is now here doing some crazy things. Tell him I said hey yeah. <laughs> uh, Tell him he's no, a man. He's a man. <laughs> oh Esty, I said you're the man. <laughs> <laughs> No, I I knew that if I if I uh, the winner of us will be will be fighting the champion. So I knew that. That's why I was also really like in a mental break because I had so many questions: why I did it, why I did that, and you know he was so close to the title fight. So yeah, that was really um, really painful. <laughs> well, see now now that you've cured some of your pain with a beatdown. In your last fight, do you think that Bellator now is going to sanction a rematch between you and Vader Arteaga again for the number one contendership for the title since she lost? I think that uh, because if if I was honest, the the title fight who she fought, uh, how she fought uh, Alima Leia was really good. You know, I think really that um, that it was a tight fight. But uh, I think that maybe if Bellator or if they want you know i'm i'm open for every opponent and everyone but in my head i really want uh, want my rematch of course <laughs> okay yeah i, I mean i kind of figured see it was a rhetorical question because i kind of figured you wanted that rematch to avenge that loss to vader because uh you were doing good you don't so yeah. where did you feel like you made your mistake because you know she finished a fight with with a standing guillotine so like yeah well, I, what happened up to that point that 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 got you into that situation? Um, I think that uh, because I really feel feel really good in the fight, and, you know, and everything goes yeah goes in my opinion. I was building something up, you know, and I think that um, just to be you know like I was too um, confident to to think okay, you know. I'm also going to take you down because I feel that I can do that. But when I take when I took her down, I was a little mistake in my head because I heard that uh, they were telling uh, 40, uh, 20 seconds. So I thought, okay, I'm going to do the last the last thing in the in the round. I'm going to make also a takedown. But that was my uh, my mistake because it was not twenty; it was forty seconds. So on the ground, I was thinking, hey, the the time. And then she took my neck and 
So that's also that was my biggest mistake, I think. That that there was a split second that I was not there and that she took my took my neck and it was too late. So that was really like also what after the fight I was thinking so many things, why I never you know I have so many uh, now many how many uh, six sixty fights in total with my kickbox fight, but there was just one split sec second that I that I was thinking about the time instead of the fight, and that was my mistake. Wow. Okay. <laughs> you know, a lot of fighters, you know, when you ask them about that, you know, they kind of have like, they, they kind of, you know, they feel a little reserved talking about it, but man, you was like, I did this, I did this, I did this. <laughs> and it just, you know, and it's another reason why I like, I always like talking to you because, you know, I always get like an education, you know, a fighting education, <laughs> you know. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that's yeah, that's like the, the truth, you know. That was, um, yeah, that that's something that. Uh, but I think that was a me a, the mental lesson about this, you know, that, that makes me so much stronger. Because if I have to be honest, you, in that that kind of mistakes, you cannot do that in in a title fight. And I think that uh, that my lesson was that something in the universe told me, hey, you have to, you know, go back to school study study and then come back again because i was i was thinking oh if i win this fight i'm gonna go for the title but now i see that i that i was not on the right place to fight for the title you know and now i feel with my what i learned about that lost is that now i feel so much stronger mentally and you know the lesson that i learned everything that makes me so much stronger and that was also another fighter in my last fight uh, against Bryony. Yeah, you look very, very strong against uh, Bryony. You look real strong. And I can definitely tell that you picked up a lot. You know, you, you learned a lot from your last fight. But you look real strong, and, you know, you pretty much dominated every aspect of the fight. You know, she she was tough, but, man, she yeah. just it, – it was a difference in, in skill sets, you know. Um, I figured, I thought your yeah. skill set was, was, was better. And I also yeah. – I just thought that you were more aggressive. You know, you just went in, you pressed the action – you took her down and yeah. it's like she couldn't do anything. She couldn't move, man. She couldn't move. Yeah. No, no, <laughs> and no. That's, that's the sign of a good martial artist, man. That's coming. That's coming back. So yeah. how, many, how many times a day have you viewed yourself? I'm going to ask you two questions, okay? How many times a day have you viewed yourself like winning that rematch with Vader? And how many times have you viewed yourself fighting Aaliyah Leigh McFarlane for the title? I think that uh, I think that uh, if I have to be honest, I think that the the, the title Alima Leia, because yeah, I know that uh, you know she she is the champion and that's my goal. But I think I think that uh, I have to fight two or three more. But also, of course, my rematch with Feta because that will not all not only be, will be the rematch against Feta, but also the rematch against myself who was at that point not 100% uh, the Miss Dynamite, you know? So I have to be two person in that rematch. So I was I was thinking I'm, uh, uh, yeah, for the rematch for sure. <laughs> okay, and um, are you gonna keep your same camp for the rematch? The one that you use for this camp against Byron? Yeah. Okay, so. Um, yeah, yeah, I have uh, I am my Bob, uh, my, my trainer, Bob Schreiber. He, uh, he uh, I think that he, uh, because also now on the ground, you know, I was, I am a kickboxer and now I go to the ground. I was so like confident and calm and, you know, I was not afraid to go like standing up just right now. So I was so much more confident on two, on two or so, so well as the stand up as my ground game. So yeah, that's, I think uh, he's going to make, uh, make me a champion, I think. Wow. Okay. I mean, you look completely different. So I was like, man, I, you know, you're actually using some of your attributes that you had, that you already had them. It seems like he's he's actually, he's bringing that part of your game out of you to be yeah. more successful. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's right. That's totally right. He, so, uh, you know, he, and that's, that's also something, you know, he don't want to teach me like the, complicated MMA things, just to save things and to be back in my in my power, you know? So that's also something that uh, that I was searching for and that I completely uh, um, have with Bob. Okay. 
Now, guys, I, I, I got to keep reiterating because some of y'all are coming into the live stream a little later. We've got the Bellator kickboxing champion, world kickboxing champion, Dutch pro. Look, listen, she's got so many accolades. She's also a, a Bellator flyweight. She's right now three and two. She's had five professional MMA bouts. Guys, this is Denise Kilholz. You you can ask questions, but please don't insult the intelligent. Now she's highly smart. You gotta ask her good questions now. No rhetorical <laughs> questions. Okay. So you know we'll we'll wait for you guys to ask your questions, and I'll keep conducting the interview. Uh, yeah. So now you know. With the fight, you know, versus, you know, Barrett, that fight's out of the way. Um, where is your new team now? You know, what what are they doing now with the mental part of you preparing for the next big fights? They are, like, totally, totally cool, you know. they. I think that we have the same plan, you know. And um, it's also my mental part with now my last fight. Is completely gone, you know. Now I now I really know what I can do, also on the ground. So that's that part is now over. But I think with my training camp, it it will be the, the the same thing as right now. Everything was just as good as as much as more much more than I planned it, you know. My weight, I was like um, one hundred and twenty one uh, pounds. Now, I was never ever that late, that light, you know, in my in the weight class, and without any starving or water things, you know. So everything was completely different than my other training camps, and I feel really good and really powerful. So I I know that this camp will, will make me make me a much better fighter in MMA. I can see it. I mean, I can actually mm -hmm. see it. You know. You know, just just the changes, and even you know when you when you when you even doing your ring walk, you know you just you just had a swagger about the about you. I'm like, oh man, you know she finna <laughs> win, she finna dominate, you know she finna dominate this fight, uh, because you know you know I bet on these fights, I bet on mostly every fight that I watch, and you know yeah, I bet a friend of mine, and you know he's a cat, he don't know anything about MMA, so he picked Byrony to beat you, and you know I I I got my thirty dollars thanks to you. <laughs> 30 american dollars thanks to you i won that and uh you know hey you know it is what it is uh, yeah <laughs> okay so okay so now with that for this particular training camp who who was the sparring partner that that really gave you the best work that just beat you up the most during camp um well I, we have like um like my all my sparring partners they are they are like 17 18 years old but they're like the new talented here in uh, in uh, in holland and um yeah they are really pre you know they are so hungry so hungry to fight so hungry to train you know uh, really fast and if i if i you know if i think about them they really help me a lot in this training camp and uh, of yeah, of course, I also trained with Johanna when she was here in Holland. And Jan, Jan, Jan Jacek, right? Yes, yeah. <laughs> so I had so many influences that I think, yeah, that really helped me this training camp. Yeah. So now, did Johanna teach you some of the tricks of the trade? You know, did she teach you like, like some veteran tricks? Did she teach? Did she teach anything about the fainting? You know, her head movement. Yeah. Yes. As she teaches me a lot, you know, about the movement and also defending the, the, the defending the takedowns, and even if you go to, go down for a takedown, how to stand up. So yeah, she really helped me a lot with some uh, some tricks. Wow, man, mm -hmm. she probably gave you the secret key because you never know, you may have to fight her one day. Who knows? <laughs> man. <laughs> yeah, who knows? <laughs> yeah, yeah, you guys will match yeah. up pretty well. So let me ask yeah. you this: Have you been checking out? Have you been checking out the uh, the UFC flyweight uh, matchups as of late? Like a uh, yeah, a couple of them, yes, yeah. Of course, the champion Valentina and some other fights, yeah. So, what did you think of her last victory over Jessica? I think that was like, yeah, that was totally amazing and good like everything when i that she's like um she's like a fighter that really can you know like read a, another fighter or opponent and you can see it also in her fight she just schedules just as the plan as it goes and 
timed it perfectly and uh, yeah, well deserved. So now let's let's get some of your MMA expertise because see now this, I'm at, this is a very technical question. Okay, what did Jessica I do wrong to walk right into that head kick? Um, you can see that she cannot block like the middle kicks and the low kicks, and that's and I think that she was totally wrong in her game, like her stand-up game, like walking forward, don't block anything, and just want to grab her leg. And she, you see that she, 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 she will. Uh, Valentina was waiting for that. That she gonna, she gonna grab the the leg again, and then she take over to the head. So that was like, it was like mad, you know, like one plus one is two. And I think that her. Her her stand up game of uh, of Jessica was not uh, was was totally not comparing to what Valentina can do. Oh, okay, man, y'all just broken down beautifully. Y'all 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 should pay Denise for this information. I mean, because see, <laughs> if I would get in there against somebody who can throw them kicks, uh, <laughs> I'm gonna take that advice. I would walk into it, man, because it, it looked painful. It looked really painful, man. She was laying stiff. Yeah. And I, I thought, yeah. I thought the soul left her body for a minute. You know, I thought she was, you know, like, yeah. hey, is she alive? Did, did she kill her? You know, but, you know, I was, yeah. glad, I was glad to see her get up. I was glad to see her get up, you know. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So when you are, when do you, when do you think your announcement for your next bout will be? Like, have you talked to Scott Coker any? Um, I, I talked to my manager, Raymond Alder, and he, um, yeah, he told me that, um, they are now, uh, looking for the fight cards, but they think in November, December, I will have to fight. Okay. But they, they don't know, not sure right now where. So, okay. Yeah. On, on, on um, wait a minute, Bellator paper. No, it's the zone pay-per-view. Yeah. You guys <laughs> fight on the zone. Yes. I, I remember. So now, you know, since since you're starting to, you know, get your get your feet acclimated to MMA and you're winning, are they gonna move you up in the card now? Now that's my question, because man, I <laughs> Well, um, you mean in the ranking or of the other on the fight cards? Uh in, in the fight cards. Like are they gonna move you closer to the main event? Yeah, that was uh, but that was something strange. Also, my last fight because um, before before we were on we were on the main card, like the Fita fight was on the main card, mm -hmm. and also in in Israel against Jessica Milton. But uh, now they were telling that no uh, no no fighters, no woman fighters will be on the on the main card. So, but I was thinking, okay, that's right, but. There was a mistake because at the end I was thought that I was thinking that I have to fight, and then they call me and they say, "No, you you ha you have to fight later." So I think they did some some switch with the fights, and that's why I, because when I was fighting um, in uh, fighting in London, I was already in the afternoon. I was already early there. To fight because I thought that I will fight much earlier. So I think at the at the last moment I don't know what what went wrong, but they switched the uh, they switched the fight. But yeah, of course my my main goal is to of my one of my goals. I really love to, to stand on the main card. But for me, it's important that I fight, and that's the most important thing for me. Okay, yeah, you know we need to you know we need to holler at Scott. Hey Scott, look man, come on, come on. Got to get yeah. dynamite. We got to yeah. keep dynamite. You know, yeah. we got to keep all eyes on dynamite right now. Okay, that's what we, you got a young star. You got a young star, Scott. Come on, let's let's make it happen. See, that's a conversation yeah. we're gonna have. I'm gonna talk to him. I'm gonna call yeah. him. Yeah, let, let me call him. <laughs> <laughs> amazing, amazing. So, you um, you, how do you balance the kickboxing aspect? You know, Bellator. And MMA, like, are you are you still actively competitive in both? I mean, not competitive, but are you actively still able to manage both kickboxing and MMA? Uh, well, at the moment, I because also the kickboxing part is also a lot different than the stand-up game in MMA. So uh, now, most of the times, I only train MMA. But if Bellator wants me to to do a kickboxing match, that's also no problem because then I. The switch is much easier to go back to kickboxing, but 
you know i still kickbox but at the, uh, with uh, with an with another mindset you know it's not the same as the kickboxing fights just to, to keep stand standing up wow okay so i guess if they had the right opponent for you you know you could switch back and forth between mma and kickboxing cuz remember yeah. what Remember at one point you was you was very active, you know, kickboxing, you know, for, for Bellator. Yeah. And yeah. Then you had that first MMA fight, and it's like, man, it's been all MMA for a while. I mean. Yeah, yeah. But if I'm if I'm honest, then uh, the flyweight division in kickboxing, at this moment, I don't see anyone that I see. Okay, you know, that girl is, you know, because I really want want a good opponent, you know, and at the, at this moment I don't see any one of them in the flyweight division in kickboxing that I that I see. Okay, I want to fight her, you know, she's good. Uh, that's something that I really want to train for. But in the MMA flyweight division, you have a lot. So also, yeah, I don't see really like a big motivation in, in kickboxing in the flyweight division. So we will see what Bellator will be, will bring next. Who would want to come and fight you? I mean, let's just be honest. Who would actually want to come and fight you in kickboxing? Because you, you've been kind of running through everybody, you know? Yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, you know. I, I don't, in the kickboxing, you know, every... I think every one of them in in that division, I really, I already fought or already beat. So, yeah, who's next? You know, I don't see another one in the kickbox division. And in MMA, you have so much more. So, yeah, that's for to be honest, that's where my motivation now is. Wow. You know, I want to beat the best. Wow. She says she want to beat the best, y'all. The best. Yeah. Okay, now I always ask my fighters. Okay, and I always ask a fighter that I interview a technical question because you know I, I uh, you know I, I I used to wrestle back in high school. I had a pretty good wrestling background, but you know uh, oh. did some did some jujitsu, and uh, so yeah. there's this one hundred and he weighs about one hundred and twenty pounds, one hundred twenty five pounds. He's jujitsu master, you know, um, funny guy, real funny guy. You know he uh, he said, hey, let's wrestle. I said wrestle. Yeah, man, I don't, come on. I don't know how to do jujitsu, man. I, I know how to wrestle. You, he keeps saying let's yeah. wrestle. He keeps saying let's wrestle, and I'm like, but you, you do jujitsu. You don't wrestle. So let yeah. me make a long story short. He grabs yeah. me. Okay, I grab him. I take him down. I was having fun with him, and he's laughing. Yeah. He's laughing at me, Denise, the whole time, laughing. Yeah. <laughs> you know, six year old guy. He puts wow. me into a kimura. Okay, this this yeah. little guy. He's about five foot four. You know, and he has me in a kimura. Yeah. I couldn't get out. He was laughing. He was oh. laughing the whole time. Tell me, because yeah. every other fighter been making fun of me, too. Because I've asked, <laughs> how do you get out of that? What do I do to get out of this kimura? You know, that's... I think that... Yeah, that's, that's like a technical, but if it's really, like, really stuck... I think that you're just done. <laughs> you cannot get out of it. No, that's not but, what I wanted to hear. I, got <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> I think that, you know, like the really, the, the, the black belts and everything, I think if you are really that stuck, it's just almost impossible to get out of it. So sorry, I'm not your, <laughs> I'm not the right one. <laughs> yeah, you I'm know. Right one. <laughs> uh, Denise, you. Yeah. Now Sabina Mazo just said, Sabina, I, I, I said, how do I get out of it? She goes, well, you should never get it in the first place. And I'm like, how, oh, does, how yeah, does that yeah. help? How does that help? <laughs> so you, no, one, no, no one and nobody got the answer. <laughs> nobody got the answer. I got to ask somebody because, no. you know, I can't, I, can't, I can't go back in there to have him keep laughing at me. I told him, though, I want a rematch. No. But I don't yeah, want to mess with him trying to try and get out of that Kimura because that, no. that thing hurt, man. I was like, oh, no. Yeah, <laughs> but it's fun though. It was it was fun. It was I I I, I enjoyed it. Okay. Yeah. So, so now, now with with everything that you've had, and I'm not gonna keep you too much longer. Okay, everybody's a little quiet today. I keep you too much yeah. longer. Okay. No problem. Where do you see yourself when this fight between you and Aaliyah Lay McFarlane happens? Because I I really don't see anybody else beating her until you come along. And I even on the screen, okay. I got you. I got you and Ali Malay doing a face off on the screen. I do. It's really? Fun. Yeah, I got you really? doing a face up. Yeah. I want that. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it's behind. I want 
Okay, I'm going to send it to you. It's behind a Bellator banner, and she's doing this, yeah. and you're doing this right here, you know? Yeah. Oh, you know, that's, that's the dream. <laughs> I'm speaking it into existence, okay? Yeah. Do you, with, with what you've known right now, okay, without giving away any game plans, can you exploit the weaknesses in her game? Yes, I think that, um, you know, like her, her ground game is really good. But I think that her stand up, you know, I see so many points where I can see that she make a lot of mistakes, you know. And I think that also you can see that in, in the feta fight, you know, she takes some hits and then she want to go down. So, yeah, I think that her stand up game, there are so, there's so, there are some points that, that, you know, that, that I think that I will get my 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 um, my, uh, my my power out of it. So um, yeah, but on the ground she is really good. But yeah, I think if you keep her stand up, then it's going to be no, another fight, a whole other fight. Well, you you keep the wrestlers standing on their feet if they can't take you down, and if they can't yeah. take you down, guess what they got to do? They got to try to punch you. <laughs> <laughs> And there's where also I have something, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, so, did you see the fight? And, and speaking of grapplers versus strikers, did you see Chris Cyborg versus Felicia Spencer? Yeah, yeah. Like, amazing, you know. Uh, I, I'm a really big fan of Cyborg, you know. Um, Me too. I think that she, <laughs> really, yeah, she is, uh, she's like a monster, you know. So, I just, and you see, she told all of her fights, you know, you, you see that she really know the thing about fighting, you know, and how she also is in life, you know, and she never gets that respect that I think that she totally deserves. So, yeah, she fights not only against her, her opponent there in the cage, but she, she fights against so many people that, you know, that that have some, some thoughts about her. So, and she, all, all over again, she, she wins and she she just destroy or she gets knocked out but everyone you know she's also human but if she wins it's always a good fight so yeah i'm i'm a fan of cyborg yeah you know i'm a i'm a well you probably know i'm a humongous fan of cyborg big time fan um yeah she she did good and uh i guess the questions about the wrestling and the grappling and the clinch work i don't know i feel like those questions were answered you know um cause, yeah you know, Spencer is a black belt in jiu-jitsu and, you know, Cyborg yeah. stuffed every takedown. So I was like, wow. Yeah. So, you know, that, and that's what I also said. I think that, you know, everyone has to talk about that, about that moment, you know, from how she just keep her stand up and, you know, also a ground game, not, not scared. And, you know, that's what I say, that she deserves so much more and so much more respect that she get at the moment. So, Yeah. All, uh, all respect for her. So now, I'm going to tell you how this is going to affect you, but I, I got to ask this question before. Do you think that she's going to come over to Bellator? Well, I saw a tweet from from uh, from uh, from Scott, and uh, I saw a Cyborg also last year. She was in L.A. on a Bellator, uh, on a Bell Bellator event. So, yeah, if I'm honest... I will be really. I think it will be really cool when she comes to Bellator, and you never know because she is so. If I see her tweets and her posts, she's also not happy, really happy with the UFC. So, yeah, I think there might be a chance that she comes to Bellator. Yeah, you know, if she would have come. You know, it'll it'll actually be pretty decent for everybody. You know, like everybody that fights all the women, not just yeah. not just featherweights, even flyweights. It'll be a good thing. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. For sure. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, you know what? Uh, you're happy at Bellator because I asked you before. <laughs> you said you didn't, yeah, didn't, didn't want to leave. <laughs> okay. Well, you guys, I'm talking to the future flyweight champion of the world. Okay. <laughs> uh, I'm talking to Miss Denise, Miss Dynamite Killhouse. Okay, Denise, before, before, before I let you go, you you know, you have any, have any shout outs you want to give, you know, people you want to just... I don't know, just just big up. Yeah. Well, uh, first of all, I want to thank you for this interview, for uh, always uh, support us, also here in Holland. 
And I just gonna give a shout out to all the, the watchers, all the people who love this sport and who support all the fighters and, you know, give so much love every day for R and to, to get on that stage and to perform like the best version of yourself. So I want to thank all, all of you for just not if you are a fan of me or not. It's just the love for the sport. That's where it all begins. And that's where, where our sport going to grow. And also for, for children and grand-grandchildren that, you know, that, that this, this sport keeps alive and keep, keeps the power to all, to every influence in this sport. So I just want to thank all of you guys. And um, I really wish you a blessed and happy day. <laughs> Well, they don't have a choice. They have to be a fan of yours because if they don't, <laughs> then I don't know them anymore. I'm just going to say, I don't, I don't like y'all anymore if you're not a fan of Denise. So you better be a fan. <laughs> yeah. and, then, yeah. and so, Denise, let's see if you can take us out of here. Okay. Yeah. See how creative you can be. Okay. Can you say, hey, uh, and I always ask you to say this, but let me see how much more creative you can be. You know, make it sound just like, yeah. Yeah. Uh, could you say, hey, my name is Denise, you know, Miss Dynamite Kios, and you're watching Coach Shelton Harrison. Okay. <laughs> Hi, I'm Denise, Miss Dynamite Kios, and you're watching show Shelton Harrison. Oh, oh, Denise, come on. Come on, Denise, you can do better than that. Come on now. Come on, you messed up. Come oh, on. God. God okay, almighty. one more time. <laughs> oh, oh, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> Oops. Look, watching Coach Shelton Harrison. <laughs> May God bless you. Huh? Uh, thank you. Thank may, you. May God bless you. That, that, that was so much better. Hey, and also too, Denise, uh, you know, we um, on this channel, you know, we do the uh, we do the logo. And I asked you like a while ago, but you said, Coach, you asked me too late, you know, about actually putting logos on your uniforms because they allow that in Bellator. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. What, oh, yeah, you told me that, yeah. yeah. For my next fight, for sure. If we if we can contact my uh, my manager because he um, he uh, he taking care of that, but for sure, okay. yeah. Okay. Uh, you just gonna have to give me his email because I'm putting yeah. I'm putting a logo on Denise. Kim. I'm telling you, it's gonna be on you. I'm telling you, that's that's just what it is. <laughs> okay, perfect. We will do that. Yeah, for yeah. sure. I'm gonna tell, I'm gonna give him uh, his uh, your your email or his email to you for sure. Yeah. Well, yeah, we do a lot of Invicta fighters, too. We sponsor a lot of them, and okay. you know, they put logos. So I'm like, man, okay. Now oh, yeah, in Bellator, we are allowed to do that. So, um, yeah, for sure, we're going to talk about that. Yeah. Okay, I can't wait. I'm excited about that. Guys, Mr. <laughs> nice Dynamite Kill Hose, okay? Bellator <laughs> kickboxing champion, Dutch pro champion. Man, this girl has done it all. Hey, guys. This is your boy, Coach Sharon Harrison. I'm done. What are you waiting on? Su su support the best women's MMA platform on YouTube.